Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. We're going to start doing the reflected cross-site scripting and canonical tags uh, from Port Swigger Web Security Labs today. Now, uh, canonical tabs, what exactly is a canonical tag? So first of all, it's really important that we explain this to you guys. Uh, a canonical tag is a tag like any other tag in HTML, such as the uh, H tag, uh, you got your image tags, you also have your link tags, and it can have a relationship canonical. Uh, and it's a way of telling search engines like Google, they start crawling your website, they start spidering it, and they start making their website maps. It's important to tell Google which URL is exactly the correct one. I'm going to give you guys an example as well. For example, you have www.google.com, but you can also access the site by just typing in google.com. And you don't want the search engines to uh, index all of those options. You want to tell it which one is the correct one. For example, in here you can see link well equals conical and the href tells it that https double point slash slash moz.com is the actual link that it has to index not some other link that it came to the website on. So for example, if I came to this website via www. it wouldn't index to www. So that's what canonical tags are. Now, how can we abuse them? There is this specific um, attribute in HTML called global access key. And this global access key means that if you do a, a shortcut, uh, we're going to go back to the labs real quick. So in here you can see three different shortcuts. First one is for Windows, then you have the Mac OX, Mac OS X shortcut and the uh, Linux shortcut, as you can see in here. Uh, and these shortcuts, when you press them, that's what the access key attribute is going to trigger. So when I, for example, Control Alt X, means that I have to set an access key of X in this case. Now what they've done is we're going to look at the solution in here real quick. Um, they gave us a URL that we can follow. Now for me, this is a bit gibberish. I want to know what it says. Um, so I'm going to URL decode it and it's a little bit easier to read for me. As you can see, it sets the access key to X and it sets an on alert, on click to alert one. Now, when we enter this into our website, we'll go to our lab specifically. And now we'll look at the source code. We'll see what happens. So we'll look for the canonical tag. There we go, we have our canonical tag. And in here we can see that the href hasn't changed, but it's gotten a new uh, attribute called access key x and also an on click alert equals uh, alert one. Now the on click is going to be triggered by our access key. So when I do the commands that I need to do, control alt x since I'm on macOS, and I need to have my website, of course, highlighted. I can see that I accidentally so-called clicked on it. So this is a way to abuse canonical uh, tags. If you now you know what they mean, what they are, and you can insert uh, an attribute into them called access key. This access key can be triggered by pressing the, the shortcuts on your keyboard. And when you press those shortcuts, you're going to uh, trigger the uh, on-click event because um, the access key is just like a click. So it was pretty easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll do a little bit harder one in the next episode. Um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.